I believe that fearlessness is measured between the moment you get a feeling, an intuitive feeling, and you take action. And in every moment that you're rationalizing or analyzing that intuitive feeling, or you're asking others what they think, it all loses steam. It's when we listen to our intuition, that's how we live an authentic, fearless life. I asked my friend Ben Lockwin, a neuroscientist, why we go into these periods of doubt and fear instead of acting on our intuition. And he said there's two reasons. The first is we discount what staying in a situation over time may cause. We're overly optimistic that it's just gonna get better. And the second reason is because, well, we are uncomfortable with the idea of making change. The devil we know sometimes seems better than the devil we don't know. So we stay stuck in the situation that we're in. And here's the deal. Over time, it could be months, years, and even infinity to make a move because we don't want to feel uncomfortable. If you can't make a bold move, Ben recommends that you take mini risks like if you want to write a novel, don't sit down and try to write the novel. Just start with a daily writing practice. If you want to run a marathon, start walking. If you're in a relationship that you're not really happy in, go away for the weekend without your partner. Now, when you take these mini risks, your brain is going to start screaming, keep it all the way it is. You need to yell back at it. I got this. I can take these risks and it's gonna be okay. And in this way, you start to live an intuitive life and become the intuitive leader you're meant to be.